I think I finally found the one thing that everybody can agree on. From the taxation to Steph crowd to the own the means of production people, we can all agree. Billionaires should pay for their own stadiums. And for the billionaire owners in my comments who disagree, let's go through the data. The information I cited in my last video came from a 1997 study done by Brookings, where a team of 15 economists compared cities and neighborhoods that, quote, have and have not sunk hundreds of millions of dollars into sports development. And in every case, their conclusions were the same. A new sports facility has an extremely small, perhaps even negative effect on overall economic activity and employment. A more recent poll of economists by IGM shows that 83% believe the same thing. Taxpayer funded stadiums cost citizens more than the construction would generate. People who support taxpayer funded stadiums seem to assume that if a city didn't spend hundreds of millions of dollars on a new stadium, that money wouldn't go to anything. But instead, it could go to investing in other areas of a community where it would have more of an impact on economic growth. I won't even bring up the study done in Chicago that shows that if the Bears, Bulls, Blackhawks, White Sox, and Cubs all cease to exist, the net loss for the city would only be 1%. The fact is, I love sports, professional, independent, collegiate, and I love what they do for a community. But when it comes to helping billionaires, 